And these are the oranges of Cambodia. So welcome to the church in Cambodia. And you need musicians to teach you guys. So musicians, uh, we call to you. The worship leaders out there, if you want to come teach people, Cambodia is waiting. So they don't have parents, so they they stay here. Or they don't have a home, so they come and stay here. Wow. So Sean, I'll tell you. Very hot. Did you know that it's currently 32 degrees Celsius in the Cambodian winter? It's 32 degrees. Cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Are you a ninja? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the local Cambodian petrol station. Here yeah, where 1.25 liters of coke is actually petrol. Bought for a dollar. Look at the prawns. Yeah. The prawns. Uh, now we're gonna eat like locals. I know you want. There we go. That's Princess Naomi. Tonight. And it was a really interesting experience. It's a karaoke bar. The girl comes in, sit next to you, you order a drink, you drink something, and then obviously the house like, makes money and so forth. Met some interesting people. But um, first, I'm just going to let the other two <laughs> share some of their experiences. So it was very weird. <laughs> um, now, I had a picture in mind, and it was sort of what happened. It's slightly funny, but the tipping point for me of the weirdness was when yeah, the lady... Give a bit of background, you can't just say it's weird, just tell them what happened. Luan didn't explain. They don't even understand the weirdness, you don't tell everything. So the tipping point for me was we were <laughs> sitting there singing karaoke with prostitutes around us and I looked to my right <laughs> and suddenly our tuk-tuk driver <laughs> joined us. And Nathan, he sang a song with us and it was, it was so weird, I can't explain to you. And we in a brothel and our tuk tuk driver is singing karaoke. <laughs> it was extremely weird, extremely weird. But good experience? It, it wasn't a good experience for me. Um, each time, uh, especially the lady sitting on my right, I could experience the whole time that she was uncomfortable, she didn't like any part of what was happening. Even if we weren't doing anything, we were just sitting and drinking cold drink and chatting to her or trying to chat to her. Um, no intentions of doing anything else, but there was this massive um, discomfort in her and unhappiness and that bothered me the whole night. So that wasn't the best experience. and. At that moment, I feel very, felt very helpless because at that moment, I could do nothing for her. Um, and that motivated me even more to try and put things in place for our contact that's already here because she's the one that can help them, yes. not us. Yes. She's the one stationed here, she's the one that can help us. And which also helped is she was a lady. She could comfort them. We could not do that because we are not in that gender position to actually help them. So it was great that she was there and our biggest mission now is to empower her to actually help those ladies. Yes. So? No, I think mine has pretty much explained it. it was very, probably one of my weirdest experiences in my life as I did not expect that I thought we were going to go into a kind of a bar and just speak to them and 
when we came in the game was too much and then we started seeing the thing and we have seen it. Money. The, the more and more we travel, we, I realize that the big lack in the world is money, and that's the only thing that's going to change us. But we need, need money to create jobs, and jobs to get them out of the circumstances. Yeah. So the experience was supremely weird, uh, but it was good. The girl that I managed to talk to, the one that Manus was talking about just now, and that Charles also referred to. She literally drinks herself drunk every night so that she can just forget what happens. She's completely illiterate. Um, she can't even read the local Cambodian. She can't speak English. She can't read English. She can literally only speak Cambodian. She started prostitution when she was 11. She's now 27. She's a Buddhist. And um, we asked her what, what does her Buddhism say about what she's doing. And she said, according to her religion, um, which is about good, she knows that the religion is about good, but she's seen as bad, or she's doing bad stuff. Um, and she wants to get out so badly. Um, and then we told her, listen, come to the development school, start studying, and she said that she feels she's too old. Um, but we really believe that um, the Kina the Rock, I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly again, sorry for that, the Kina, but she'll be able to work with us. So it was a very interesting experience, um, definitely opened my eyes, my heart broke completely when I heard she needs to drink herself drunk just to forget. She doesn't want to do it, it's the only way that she can make money so she can pay for food. So no, Cambodia is definitely providing us with a lot of insights and a lot of experiences and I think all of us are